Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and in today's video I am going to be reviewing the new Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette. Now if you guys want to find out my thoughts on this palette and how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So this is the newest palette from Urban Decay. It is the Ultraviolet palette. And as you can tell from the package, it is a purple themed palette. I want to show you guys the outside. It looks so beautiful. I absolutely love the outside packaging. Now looking at the inside, I am absolutely in love with the color theme. I am so sorry if you can hear the rain, like we are having a giant thunderstorm right now. So if you can hear that, I am very sorry. But as I was saying, this is a beautiful color theme. I absolutely love the colors. They look so beautiful. And I will go ahead and insert the swatches. So this palette retails for $49, which is kind of pricey, but Urban Decay, that is their price point for their eyeshadows. Um, you do get this beautiful um, palette, and you do get a very nice dual-ended brush that comes with it. It is very, very nice. I was actually really excited when I saw this palette on Trend Mood's Instagram page. She always posts like the new upcoming makeup um, that is going to be released and I saw this palette and I was really intrigued. It looked very very beautiful um, and the purple theme seems to be the main color for this spring and I love the whole like pastel -y purple theme. I think it's just so beautiful. Um, I was very excited for that. And I was even more excited when Influencer reached out to me and they actually sent me this palette for free um, just to do a review. So thank you to them because they are the reason why I purchased this palette. I was not going to purchase it originally because I liked it but it just it wasn't something that I needed right now, you know? I do have two other Urban Decay palettes. I have the Urban Decay Heat palette and the Urban Decay Reloaded palette. Now these two I actually really like. Um, this one I really can't get with the formula. Um, this one seems a little bit drier in my opinion. Um, the colors when I was playing around with it, this is not my first time playing around with the eyeshadows. This is actually my second or third time and I'm not very happy with how the eyeshadows are just because they seem kind of a little dry and they're not like super powdery and like just really buttery formula. Um, they're more on the drier side which is very disappointing and the colors as you can see, there is a lot of shimmers compared to mattes, and I feel like if they did more mattes, I feel like that would have been better because their matte formula is actually pretty good. Their shimmers to use on, like, your crease, they're okay. They just, like, really muddy together. Like, this look that I created, I'm not very happy with. Um, and again, this is the second look that I did with this palette, and the shimmers... They look really, really beautiful in the pan, but when you actually put them on your eyelids, they don't really translate very well. Now, I am a, like, light to medium skin tone, and the shades don't really transfer really nicely on my skin, especially this shade, Optimized. This one does not show up on my skin <laughs> very well. Um, it looks very patchy. Um, it just doesn't blend nicely. Like... There are so many eyeshadow palettes um, that I have and they blend beautifully and the Urban Decay formula I feel like you have to kind of work with it and finesse it a little bit more 
Now I feel like other eyeshadow palettes have definitely spoiled me because the formulas have gotten only better and better in makeup brands as the years has gone on and they're just so good now. Um, Urban Decay, I feel like they haven't really grown to have like a buttery formula. I feel like they've stuck with their formula and they feel like that works for them. And like that's great and some people might really love their formula but for me personally I really really enjoy other formulas like Morphe and Anastasia Beverly Hills like they have really buttery formulas and other smaller brands they have really perfected it like Jeffree Star he is a self-made brand and his formula is amazing I feel like Urban Decay has been around for a long time and they should have perfected their eyeshadows a little bit more um, than they are right now. They are not up to par with my standards and what I'm looking for in an eyeshadow palette. Now if it is for you guys, that is great, then you're going to love this palette. I personally have higher standards than this formula. Um, it just doesn't work well for me. I feel like for very fair skin tones, it will work better. My mom even tried it and she is a light skin tone and some of these shades don't transfer, again, like very well on her skin tone. So I feel like this palette is more aimed towards the light and maybe fair skin tones. I feel like it would look very beautiful on fair skin tones. Any skin tones that are darker than fair, I feel like they're going to have a hard time. Like I had a hard time coming up with this look and I'm not very happy with it. Like this took me a long time to do and it just looks like a muddy mess. I'm not very happy with it. So this palette I feel like it's kind of... Um, a fail to me. I don't really like it and I'm glad I didn't purchase it with my own money. I'm glad I was sent, um, sent it for free because I definitely would not be happy spending my money on this. I honestly feel like this palette is aimed more towards fair skin tones. I mean that is great because fair skin tones they have some trouble with other shades and palettes that are deeper um, for darker complexions and this one seems more towards their skin tone but for light, medium, medium deep, um, and darker skin tones, I, this is not going to work that great, I feel like. That is just my opinion on the palette itself. Urban Decay could have done a much better job. Like I said, I totally love the color layout. Like, it just looks so beautiful. Like, just looking at it, it looks stunning. But actually using it, it's not that great. Now I will put a clip of me doing this eyeshadow look in case you guys were interested in how I created it. So as you can see I already have my eyebrows done and I already set my eyes with the Jeffree Star Concealer in C13 and with a little bit of setting powder just to really set down the concealer. Now it is time to go in with the new Urban Decay Ultraviolet Palette. The first shade I'm going to go into is Mind Slip and I'm just going to use this as my first transition shade so I'm just going to put it all over my upper crease. So not really being too precise, just kind of blending it all over just to have a base color underneath. Next I'm going to go into Optimized and I'm going to focus this color more into my crease. I don't know if you can see, but this color is barely going onto my eyelid. Like, it looks more of like a stark white kind of shade. It's not going on as purple as it looks in the pan, and I've already dipped into this three times. It's not really the color that I was looking for. Like, that's really disappointing because that color in the pan looks so pretty as a transition shade, and it's not really going on well. Next I'm going into Warning, and again I'm just going to work this shade into my crease.
Next I'm going to pick up a little bit more of Mind Slip and with a fluffy brush I am just going to fluff this all over the upper crease just to try and blend out these shades a little bit more. Next I'm going into Euphoric and picking up this color with my finger, I'm just going to place it all over my lid. Next I'm going in with Purple Dust and this shade I'm going to try and work into my outer V just to darken it up a little bit. Okay, so, so far this is what I have on my lids. I'm not totally into it. Like, it, to me, it looks very muddy, and I tried very hard to make it work together um, and blend it out as nicely as I could, but most of the shades in this palette are shimmers, and I feel like they're not working very well together, um, and they just, I don't know, like, I really don't like it that much. Like, my eyeshadow looks really muddy in my opinion. So I did the rest of my face off camera and I'm just going to finish off of the eyes. I'm going to grab Cyberpunk and I'm going to put this shade right underneath my lower lash line. Next I'm going to grab a Lucid and I'm going to put this shade on the inner corner of my eye. And this is the finished look. My final thoughts on the new Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette is that it is not something I would spend $49 to buy. Um, honestly. I'm not very pleased with it. I mean, it looks like a very, very beautiful palette, as I have said multiple, multiple times. It looks stunning, but the formula is what is turning me off from the eyeshadow palette itself. The colors look amazing, but when you actually try to put them onto your eyelids, if you have a darker complexion than, like, light, then it doesn't really transfer very well. And when I was doing the eyeshadow looks, um, it just gets so muddy so quickly um, and they just don't really transfer very well to your skin so I was very disappointed from this palette I don't think I personally will reach for it very much um, just because it is something that I didn't really enjoy really using the first couple times that I tried using this palette but that is just my opinion and some of you might actually really love this palette and that is amazing that it worked out for you but for me I feel like this palette does not work out for my skin tone and it was just not up to par with what I have really enjoyed in the past from Urban Decay or just even other eyeshadow palettes. So would I recommend this palette to anyone um, looking at this video wanting to pick this up? No. I honestly would not recommend this unless you are like to die for, like you need this palette in your life, you love Urban Decay. Um, if you do, then yeah, pick it up. Like, if you love their formula and you know how to work with it and you have perfected it, then go ahead. Like, this this palette will be amazing for you. But for those that um, like more of a buttery formula and kind of like an effortless um, eyeshadow look um, that is easy to do, 
that is not something you are, you are going to get with this palette. So I, for those people, I would not recommend this palette, sadly. So that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Go ahead and comment down below what you guys think about this palette. Are you guys going to pick it up? Are you not? Let me know down below. And if you're new to my channel, it means so much to me if you go ahead and hit the subscribe button along with hitting the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.